Fellas, I honestly don't know what to say anymore. Because I've been doing this YouTube thing for quite a while now, and whenever I come across a topic, I usually have some level of normality at this point. I've seen the worst of the worst. I've seen the most insane people on planet Earth. But this time, it's TikTok. And you know the thing with TikTok, it's just a complete utter mess. And honestly, with today's uh, topic, situation, whatever you want to call it, honestly, I don't think situation really describes this to the correct way. But with this thing, that's what we're going to call it, this thingamabob, I don't really know... I'm genuinely so unbelievably shocked because this is insane. Meet Felix Scyther. This is an individual who seems to really love snakes, but also has uh, got a weird love for people that have pretty much caused devastation amongst society. <laughs> and what do I mean by that, ladies and gentlemen? Well, pretty much, Felix seems to believe that he is the reincarnated version of a certain Austrian political figurehead from the 1930s and 40s, part of a political party, which I will not name, but he thinks he's the reincarnated version of that, pretty much. And honestly, I think Felix has got a few things wrong, because seeing as Felix loves snakes, I feel like he's honestly got his uh, love for certain horrible people mixed up. I have a mac and cheese. Say hello, mac and cheese. <laughs> see, ladies and gentlemen, usually when you see a video like that, you think, oh, what a, what a handsome chap who loves snakes. I'm sure there's nothing strange going on here. So, uh, yes, the only reason I'm bringing up Voldemort is mainly because for TOS versions, I think that's what I'm going to try and uh, refer to this guy as throughout this video. Because, you know, there's guidelines which prevent you from talking about certain political figures in history, but I think you can kind of get who I'm referring to. And if not, maybe just go Google this guy's name before you watch this video. Because yeah, Felix is an individual who, uh, I'm not gonna lie, has pretty much set TikTok alight lately. And, and, and by a light, uh, it's, it, it, it's just a complete mess. This whole thing, it, it's just, well, honestly, I don't think I've said anything like it. And my voice has crapped like four times and it's been about two minutes into this video so far. So that kind of shows not only in my preview besson, but also, I'm just shocked. So yes, we are going to be going on a deep dive into the situation to truly get the grasp of what's actually going on in this complete and utter mess, but I'm not going to give you any further context for now, and instead I'm just going to allow Felix to, uh, to take it away and, and, and introduce him himself. Here is our glorious German bachelor. I shouldn't even say that. All right, it's time to address the nose ring drama. So if you haven't seen my latest video where I made this new nose ring right here, People are essentially calling me every name under the sun because I had the Sadler on my jacket. So I need to tell you guys a little something about me. And you can call me crazy, you can call me whatever you'd like, any name under the sun. But I'm very in tune with my past and my past lives and lifetimes that I've lived before this one. Now with this, usually if you were watching this for the first time, you'd think, Oh, <laughs> where's this going? Is, is, is he like, I don't know, a reincarnated version of somebody nice? Well, you don't think that, obviously, because I've already told you who he thinks he is. But uh, usually when you see a TikTok like that, you wouldn't expect to get what, what comes. And ladies and gentlemen, things are certainly coming in this video, they certainly are. But also, honestly, looking at this guy's face, I'm not trying to be rude here, but you wouldn't really look at this man and think, oh yeah, this guy was a golden retriever in his past life. I mean, the hair, the, the, the nose, it, it's, it's all too much of a coincidence for my liking. It, I'm not gonna say who this person looks like. <laughs> I, let's just continue, let's just continue. My last life just so happened to be a very infamous one. Me offing myself was one of the first memories I had from that lifetime. It came to me when I was five in my nightmares. You can see right where I got myself too. That and just so many other things throughout my life have connected me to my past. And you can go say, oh, go get on your meds again, you nutter. I've been on so many meds and none of them have changed what I saw when I was five. So yes, this video was the was the first video that really went viral with Felix. This is when people started to get introduced to this person who seemingly claims that they are the reincarnated version of a certain person who represented a certain German political party during the 1930s and 40s. Yes, my friends, welcome to TikTok in 2023. I, I'm sorry if I'm going to lose my mind throughout this video, because it is, it is quite mental. And I understand a lot of people are firstly going to say, well, this person isn't mentally well. And I guess that is something that we're going to be speaking about a lot throughout this deep dive, the moral dilemma of criticizing mentally ill people. But honestly, when it comes to mentally ill people, 
Well, they're not usually um, posting things <laughs> like this. What's a controversial opinion? Well, Felix, I'd love to know what is your controversial opinion. This world would be better off without most sectors of humanity. Our species ought to con- Stop right there. Please. I honestly am getting close to the camera more and more often in these videos, and it's mainly because I'm kind of losing my mind. I don't really know what to say here, which, which can honestly add to any form of, like, conversation without just saying this is just mental. And people on TikTok are just so utterly confused about this at the moment, just, just because of how insane it clearly is, but also the, the plot twists in this whole thing is just absolutely wild. It's like a cinematic masterpiece in some aspects, like a really bad cinematic masterpiece, if that makes sense. Because not only does this person, you know, align with a certain political figurehead from 1940s and 30s, but also apparently that they're, they're, they're trans and they're, there's a lot of debate about the pronoun and I will go further into that but but it's, it's just just confusing because that certain political figurehead did not like LGBTQ plus people they did they did not and it, it's just a bit of a contradiction for a lot of reasons <laughs> I'm sorry this is just so insane it just seems that pretty much there are a lot of conflicting interests. But you know what isn't a conflicting interest? Your interest of clicking subscribe right now. Because my friends, this is a very niche topic and I don't think this video is going to do well because not only will it probably get age restricted given what it's about, but also it's just, yeah, it's, it's niche. Nobody like not outside of TikTok really knows about this, but subscribe, please. I'm begging. I'm on my knees. Some of you don't subscribe, but you still watch the videos because you're sick and you like to watch me beg. So could you please just give in and, and, and subscribe, but also like the video and comment beans down below because as I said, gonna need all the algorithm pushes I can get on this one. Cheers. But yeah, Felix has been getting a lot of attention on TikTok recently, because I know he doesn't directly say who he is the reincarnated version of in that previous TikTok I showed you, but when things started to get truly controversial, is when he started to do his outfit checks. Now, usually when somebody uploads their outfit checks on TikTok, is like, look at this, uh, I don't know, this skirt, this pair of jeans, this bikini, it's like, wow, that's so sick. And then Felix comes along and they're like, <laughs> look at this cosplay of... of of, you know, the worst people possible. Hey, my name is Felix Cipher, and I'm a 21-year-old author of a book series called Heroes of Nadaria. Look, my friends, I, I I really want to show you, I don't really want to show you what's actually been shown there, but I'm going to have to blur it and kind of describe to you what was just displayed. Pretty much, there is a symbol on that jacket, which is the, a, a certain symbol, again, used by a certain political group, which, again, I feel weird saying political, just terrible people. And, and that, yeah, I think you can kind of get where I'm going with this. <laughs> it's, it's not looking good, Brett. That's all I'm going to say. And most people were mainly confused to uh, why somebody in the first place would even claim that, you know, not only would a dude from the 1940s who was absolutely known for being the worst person on planet Earth come back as as Felix, but also people were just confused by, I guess, the background of Felix, because also Felix writes fantasy novel books. And they're all available on Felix's website right now, and, mate, I'm just confused because I just don't think this really aligns with everything. Fantasy novels, I mean, that's great, mate, but that really doesn't align. That's all I'm saying. He's even invented his own language, which maybe, maybe that does align, but my god. We really, really need to have a, a really big study made on this application of TikTok. And with this language, I'm just deeply concerned about what any of the words in the language actually mean. For all we know, it could be like some some dossier, something which could lead to some really bad stuff. I need somebody to translate this stuff. It's, it's like looking at Elvish. It's like some old Mordor language. I don't know what this is, but I'm, I'm honestly not really thinking that it's a good thing. And people on TikTok are naturally very confused with this, because obviously with this individual, there's there's been a lot of debate about what they're actually doing here. Are they a troll? Are they severely mentally ill? Honestly, it's a bit of a mix, I think. Uh, I, firstly, I, I do think that this guy definitely thinks that he is aligned to a specific political party. But secondly, yeah, there, there could be some trolling going on here. But third, there is apparently a case of mental illness going on here. So whilst we will take these things into context, especially later in this video, I, I will say... I don't think that necessarily means people can't get upset and mad at this, and then TikTok certainly right now is mainly just confused. I'm not really seeing people particularly be absolutely mean about this guy, and I think they very much got the right to be. I think people are just necessarily confused at where the, where, where, where the state of TikTok is actually going, because my friends, this application needs to be studied by like actual Harvard University like lecturers and scientists, because... 
I, I'm, I'm just particularly quite confused, and I will continue to say that, and I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but what do you expect from me? And ladies and gentlemen, as much as I can laugh at this, as much as I can say, haha, this is so utterly ridiculous, and, and we can meme and joke, we can, I guess, make jokes, but honestly, there is also the serious aspect in nature of this, of where we really need to take some things into seriousness here of, uh, well, he did upload a TikTok where he referred to a certain thing, which I, I can't again name because of the YouTube TOS, but I'm just going to bring up a certain man from The Walking Dead. This is Eugene, and, and, and Eugene's name fits into the word which we're going to avoid specifically saying in this, and I'm just going to show you the TikTok. Pretty much, he says that um, a certain thing with a name that Eugene can fit into would optimize our species. Mate, I just have to say, we are not computer hardware and software. You can't to send in your PC for repairs, get it optimized, and all suddenly I've got 100 FPS on Hogwarts Legacy, and you definitely are the type of fella to play Hogwarts Legacy. <sighs> I understand that game is quite controversial at the moment, but all, all I'm saying is this guy is definitely a sliver. Look, I need to say sorry for that. Um, Hogwarts Legacy is a bit of a topic at the moment, isn't it? And I have actually put up a podcast clip which you can go and watch about that, but pretty much what I'm trying to say here is um, this guy is pretty much Lord Voldemort, I think, and I'm just honestly quite concerned. And my friends, I think what's mostly deeply concerning about this situation is because as much as I can make all the jokes in the world, this person, Felix, gained tens of thousands of followers on social media before their TikTok was banned. Now, I have downloaded the complete archive of Felix's of TikTok, but yeah, I, I think it's concerning that this person actually managed to grow a, a, a following and, and seeming fan base and people that would defend them to a, 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 an absurd degree. I think it's rather strange, but alas, yeah, I guess this is just TikTok in the modern day where you can gain a, a following by doing cosplays as certain people. And we're going to keep bringing up the phrase of mental illness throughout this entire thing because, yeah, that's a defense a lot of people like to use with Felix, but I, I don't know if I can use that when take, for example, a certain victim of the people who Felix claims to be aligned with came out and pretty much criticized Felix, saying how pretty much mad this is and disrespectful this is. I, I, how did Felix respond to this? Well, in the most Felix way possible of saying, Haha, it's me. Sorry my man had you in a camp, old pal, but I'm back for a reason. People are defending this. Why? I mean, to be honest with you, it's a bit of a self-report if you do. But even with that response, Felix then gets another response from this person where they, well, they're actually really nice. And honestly, I, I don't even think they needed to be, but it's clear that they are just a nice person, much nicer than me. They said, basically, uh, please, mate, could you get some help? They don't word for word say that, but you can pretty much take the vibe that they're pretty much saying that. There is the whole mental illness thing. I understand that. But my friends, you're looking at a mentally ill chap right now. I don't go around or goose stepping. That's what I'm trying to say. I, I don't do that. And I know people who have got very worse mental illnesses than me. And I'm not saying that there's like a tier list maker of what, what the worst mental illness is, but there definitely are a lot of bad ones out there. And even if this guy has them, I don't think it's really a full justification for everything on this man's social media. And yes, I guess it does bring up the whole ethical dilemma, which I keep mentioning of, should we be able to criticize mentally ill people on the internet? And Obviously, yes, because firstly, as somebody that is mentally ill, I wouldn't want somebody being like, oh, I, I don't speak about Fraser because he's mentally ill. That makes me feel weird. That makes me feel like I'm not like an actual human being. Yes, obviously, take into certain things into context, of, of course, but to say that you shouldn't criticize people who are mentally ill is, is just insane because not only are there bad people who are mentally ill, that kind of goes into the whole, I guess, area of where, well, people can start to get away with a lot of horrific and terrible things, and we definitely do not want that, especially with somebody like this, because obviously you've got to understand, he's bought the merchandise, and we're gonna have to call it merchandise. <laughs> He hasn't gone to a, like a, a, a gaming convention to get this merch. He's gone to more of a convention where there's people with white hats. You know what I'm saying here. He's bought the merch, and I, I think it's got to a point of where it's not like he just randomly said a few funny or not funny, but out of pocket things on the internet. He's been clearly thinking about this quite a lot. It's clear that this guy has a bit of a background, and I'm not honestly sure I can conflate this of mental illness. I, I, I think we should have the right to criticize him, in particular people that have been affected by the political party that he likes to align himself to. I think these people definitely have the right to get mad, and I think it's even weirder to suggest that they don't have the right to get mad. But ladies and gentlemen, it, it, it couldn't end there because the deep dive only goes deeper. Because somebody basically pulled up an old Tumblr account that Felix used to own. And I say used to because this has now apparently been deleted, and there are a lot of suspect things that have come out of this social media. And reminder, 
Felix is a part of the LGBTQ plus community. In particular, as I said, he is a trans man. But what is confusing is Felix seems to run a Tumblr account or did run a Tumblr account, which I guess promoted like turf ideology. And I want to interject here and say there's been a lot of debate, I guess, about the pronouns of, of Felix. And honestly, I really can't find any like pronouns in bio thing because I mean, as you can probably tell, Felix isn't a pronouns in bio type of person. But uh, based on what I've seen, I guess he goes by he just based on the fact of what his friends and alleged exes have, have gone by. I'm, I'm really not too sure. I'm trying to just remain respectful to, towards the LGBTQ plus community in general, not towards Felix, but just because I think, you know, pronouns are a humanity thing rather than a person thing. So I'm, I'm trying my best, and if, if I'm wrong, I am I am sorry. But based on my research, I, I think it's he that I'm not I'm not too sure. But th I, there's not really any I guess a way to find out unless you put it in your bio and. That obviously isn't there, especially when, you know, you look at the Tumblr account. And he clearly references that on his Tumblr here, and when he goes up to deny it, he pretty much actually just plays into it, and says things such as being non-binary is, is a fad, and yeah, a lot of people have just seen this account and said, yeah, this is pretty much just turf propaganda, which obviously, again, is a, a direct contradiction to the fact that, you know, he is trans, but also, you know, he also thinks he's the reincarnation of a, a certain political figurehead, Voldemort, it's what I'm gonna say again. But yeah, there's a lot of contradictions here. Also with the one where uh, an ex-girlfriend, well, they claim to be an ex-girlfriend of Felix, also came out and said that Felix is, a, is apparently Jewish. And like, I'm not laughing because of all the bad, th I'm laughing because it's so uncomfortably contradictory in every aspect. Now, there isn't necessarily proof on the Jewish thing, but honestly, given everything that we've seen, I, I wouldn't be shocked just based on how, I guess, hypocritical in nature this guy's whole life seems to be. But it gets even worse when you look even further into this Tumblr, and somebody pretty much pulled up a document of where Felix goes into seemingly direct detail about how they are a reincarnation of a certain political figurehead. And it, it it's honestly just absolutely mind-blowing. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'm just going to read a few little notes from this. But yeah, I don't know if this is, again, 100% true. But based on what I've seen, I'm, I'm kind of led to believe so. If you're reading this, it's probably because you think I'm crazy. Because I'm saying I'm the reincarnation of certain person from 1930s and 40s who led a very awful group of people. Honestly, Felix, yeah, you're pretty much spot on there, buddy. I am a little bit uh, confused. Let's just say that to, I guess, uh, lower how much I think you are absolutely insane. But I never say anything like that without a valid argument. I love that he's like, no, boys, this is that. You're the nuts ones. I I am, I am the non-insane one. It goes on to say that his argument is uh, pretty much valid because he has come to this brief conclusion ever since he was a little kid. He's never been described as normal, not in relation to his... Oh, I should also, you know, cut in and say here, I had to translate this because I believe this is written in, in, in German. Of, of course it is, but yeah, I had to translate it to Google, on Google. Basically, what they're saying here is Felix just wasn't a, a regular child, and that at a young age, they were loud mouth among peers, and they were half Russian and, and half German. Now, honestly, that's not an abnormality. That's just your heritage and, and who you are as, as a person. But they also then go on to say um, it was awkward because they had Jewish traditions. And, and again... It's 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 very contradictory. Basically, this entire thing is them saying that they are, I guess, the reincarnation of this person because they, well, they liked the military when they were younger and because they're half German. Honestly, I don't really think these things are enough to kind of give evidence of that. But yeah, it, it's an insane post. I don't really know if it was directly written by them because I did find it on some message boards and it could be written by anybody. But based on what is on their Tumblr, I yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure what to say here. And honestly, my friends, I don't even know if this whole thing's a troll because I, I, I really wouldn't be surprised given everything that I've spoken about on the internet. I've spoken about people like Ollie London, and obviously Ollie probably isn't even on this level, but the, it's just with, with with how they've put the, the, the hairstyle and, and the nose bit, I, I just can't sit here and not think this has to be some level of a troll. But again, at the same time, I'm thinking maybe it isn't because how much of an act can somebody truly put out on social media? But again, I don't think that really justifies saying that people can't get upset and mad about this. But the same also goes for if it is real and this person is a mentally ill person. I, I, I don't think it's a justification for saying people can't get mad specifically because, you know, they've joked about writing specific books by a certain political party. You know, I, 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 I don't think I can sit here and say, oh, no, don't get mad because they might be 
mentally. No, no, you can get mad. You are entitled to do that. So my friends, it does get a little bit sadder when you then go and find out that the fact that the families of Felix have actually been contacted in this situation. People have found, I guess, the, the, the people that know Felix personally and have directly said to them, hey, have you seen this social media account that your family member is posting on? It's absolutely abhorrent. And it seems that the people in Felix's family did not know about this and they were very disgusted and disturbed by this, which is honestly just really depressing. And more leaked texts did come out showing that Felix does even say themselves that they feel like a POS and friends have also, as I've said throughout this, come out to defend Felix in a certain way with the whole defense of mental illness. But at the end of the day, how much can you use mental illness as a defense? I think that's the main question we can take from this video of where does the defense of being mentally ill, you know, actually stop? And honestly, for me, I don't think you can use mental illness to say, wow, you shouldn't get mad at this person cosplaying as a certain political group. I don't even think I should say political, just a group of evil, terrible people, like the worst of the worst. But yes, with Felix's clear love for a certain movement in the 40s and the, you know, just with that love, there was also a, a book rendition that Felix put out there of where they actually read their own language, which which they <laughs> in, invented. And honestly, I'm, I'm just going to play it and, and I want you to give your opinions down below. <laughs> I feel like there's something terrible that I'm playing here, which I, I really shouldn't be playing to you. And honestly, if this video gets age restricted, I'm not even mad because that could there could possibly be something said there, which honestly is probably absolutely terrible. And I keep saying honestly because I don't know how to speak English at this point because I'm just not only getting introduced to new languages. But I'm just shocked beyond belief that any of this even exists. But my friends, throughout this video, you've probably realized that, yeah, there has been a lot of speculation. And, and usually that does happen with these situations of where there isn't that much information out there right now, bar a bunch of people going absolutely insane. And yes, there have been people doing digging and, and deep diving like myself. But there's also been, been another speculative allegation that, well, let's just say Felix has a little bit of a love for... Eggs. Yes, the, the, the boiled things, the, the, the things which cost a million pounds right now. Eggs. Felix apparently has a certain le level of love for eggs. Now, I'm not really going to go into specific detail on this because I don't really want to get demonetized, but... Again, it's just really, really weird. And let's just go back to the friend's defense here. You can defend everything you really want, but I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but, but there is no mental illness out there that makes you want to... Bum an egg, that's all I'm going to say. But also, with the defense fit, I'm going to bring it up again. The hairstyle, the, the nose, the nose ring. I'm sorry, but this is deliberate. There, I can't, I can't look past it. If there are actual real issues of mental health here, I, I don't think the people that should be being hounded on right now, the people that criticize Felix, it, it should be the people that have allowed this social media account to even exist. Where are the parents in this situation? Because as I mentioned earlier, yes, the parents or the family members seem devastated that they only just found out about this, but there are TikToks of, of seemingly family and friends in the TikToks of, of, of Felix. And now, yes, his TikTok account has changed very much in the last few weeks, but alas, surely they saw this and, and thought, Maybe we should stop this, but no, they, they, they haven't. So I don't think the people that we should be getting mad at are, are people like me or people like you. I, I think we should just really say, where were the family and friends in this situation? It, it's really, really weird that nobody thought to stop this. In conclusion, I am just so unbelievably confused about this situation. This is one of the more creepy and strange deep dives that I've done on this channel. And all I will really say is, is firstly, please don't go spread any hate or negativity towards, like, I guess, the, the people in this situation, because I don't think that'll help. I think if you want to spread word about this, please go and, I guess, spread this video or spread your own videos or whatever you want to do to speak about this. Because, yeah, as I said, this has been blowing up on TikTok. People are going insane about this. And honestly, I don't know if I can come to the conclusion whether this is real or a troll, but honestly, either way, it's both absolutely insane. If you're trolling, I mean, do you not have any integrity? And if you're not trolling, please go get some form of therapy because I know people have said you've been having it your whole life, but clearly you need more. And also, this is a bit which I haven't really spoken about, the whole snake thing of uh, Felix. Apparently, they absolutely blooming love snakes. And people have been a little bit con concerned about this, being like, oh, Felix isn't taking care of their snakes. Felix is, is not doing the right thing to make sure that the snakes are fine. And all I'm going to say is, did Voldemort take care of his snakes? Absolutely not. 
Voldemort, all he did was make the snake stay in, in his snake body for 50 years. Nagini was mistreated. Shout out to the most awful piece of garbage for giving the worst retcon in cinematic history. This was genuinely an absolute embarrassment. I, I cannot believe these films even exist. I mean, I know the universe has stopped now, thankfully, because, you know, like two people saw those movies. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a journey of, of pain, suffering, and honestly... I don't even know at this point. TikTok's just becoming gradually day by day. Probably the one of the most more insane places on planet Earth. I mean, you've got Arkham Asylum, but we just, we got to stop sending the Batman villains there. Just send them over to TikTok. Let them post on there for two weeks and they'll, they'll be suffering because... Ladies and gentlemen, I am suffering. I, I do the deep dives, I do the work, I do the research for you, and it, it's really affecting me. I am losing my mind. Please subscribe so I feel a little bit better. Cheers. I'm going to end this video by being like, can you just give your opinions down below? Because I don't even know what to think at this point. Um, if, if you want me to do any more weird deep dives, I don't even know if this video is going to do well because, you know, it's um, it, I guess it's a video where it's it's very niche and it could get age restricted. So please share this, please like this, and please comment beans down below because it helps more than you truly well know. Thank you so much for coming along. Uh, podcast next, if you want to hear about me speak about Harry Potter in a terrible way, it's, it's up next on my podcast. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, all in the description. Thank Thanks for coming along, people, and I'm going to go have a long sleep. Peace out. <laughs> Bye-bye.